I'm here to talk about the history of Winston County, where my family is from and where I went to high school. Uh, the main story uh, starts in the Civil War. There were uh, no large plantations or farms in Winston County because it's uh, very hilly and very steep, so there's not large patches of flat good farmland. There were very few slaves, I think a total of four before the war started. And when the war was about to start, after Alabama seceded from the Union, the people in Winston County uh, had a meeting and tried to secede from the state of Alabama because most of them wanted to stay neutral and stay out of the conflict. There were uh, Union soldiers and Confederate soldiers, however, and that caused a lot of resentment and a lot of deaths in Winston County as they would fight each other. And this went on for many, many years after the Civil War. So uh, the main issue in Winston County, and it's still this way to some extent, is nobody really moves to Winston County because there's no industry or really no reason to move to Winston County. So all of the families are the same, all the names stay the same, and everyone knows which side that their family was on because that's how everyone votes. If you were a Confederate sympathizer, you voted Democrat. If you were a Republican, that means you were a Tory or you were on the Union side. And families still do vote that way to this day, depending on what side their family was on. Explain the statue to me. The statue is in front of the courthouse, and it reflects the divided nature of the population. Is half of his uniform is a Union uniform, and half of it is a Confederate uniform. And the statue was uh, erected to try to bring people closer together in the county and to get over these old hurts. Explain the difference between the two flags. Uh, the flag on the left is the United States flag and the flag on the right is a Confederate battle flag. So when Winston County decided to break off of Alabama or was thinking about it, what were they planning to be? Like a state? No, or? they just wanted to be left alone. They weren't, they didn't get far enough to uh, declare statehood or anything. They, the main thing was to keep other people away from Winston County until the war was over. But uh, it, it developed into a very nasty local fight between all the different sides so I mean, you can read in the old newspapers about people being killed really up into the 1920s and 30s and uh, there's still some hard feelings about it to this day do you think the statue had any impact on what the Winston County thought I think it helped a little bit. Uh, it made people talk about it and think about, you know, how silly it is to still be getting angry over things that happened 150 years ago. So what's your overall opinion about the thing since you weren't really living in the Civil War? I think it's interesting, but uh, depending on who the people that you're dealing with up there, it can be a problem if they were on the other side. Uh, people still take it fairly seriously. Okay, thank you for your time with me, and we'll have to end it right here. Thank you.